So Ryan says, hey, you should come over here and check out this carpenter ant mound. Something tells me taking us deep into the woods like this is not safe. Well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Which neighborhood? Well, this Oak is Grove. Ryan's neighborhood. Oak Grove neighborhood. And uh, we got a new toy, and we decided that we're going to test it today. So I've got some clips that I'm gonna put in of Ryan trying to do this on his own. <laughs> and what can go wrong? Well, with not the proper equipment. <laughs> not the right equipment. But we've bought the right equipment, and we're gonna mess with uh, moles today. All right, guys, I found another project to do. I'm starting to notice mole mounds starting to pop back up. I don't know if you can see these, but got these mole mounds all throughout. I was just gonna step them down, and I'm like, you know what? We're getting a new product at our office where uh, it's not cheap, but it actually blows smoke and exhaust into these holes, and it kills <clears throat> all the uh, all the moles in the holes so I'm like well if we're gonna do that I'm gonna try just doing it myself right now before we get that product in so I hooked a hose up to my side-by-side -side and ran it down in and then stuffed dirt around the hole so I did it one way and then I've got another trail coming this way so I'm gonna to get to that one next. So I'm gonna run this for about five minutes. I'm gonna rev it a little bit more and, and really get that going. Well, glad I came back and checked it. Sucker blew out on me. <clears throat> Problem I'm having going this way is this dadgum ho hose is too flimsy and it's melting at the tip. So if you can, use, uh, use the metal end when you stick it in the exhaust. Well, like an idiot, true to form, I don't wear gloves because I like to feel things. Of course, if I keep that up, I'm gonna lose my fingers and not be able to feel anything anyways. Anyway, I went and grabbed a uh, metal end to this hose and uh, had it in, ow, had, had it in the, ow! Anyway, had it in the exhaust, it was all melted, I grabbed it. And, freaking burn myself so sometimes gloves are good anyway nice little burn mark there on my fingers so I've I've had this area in my yard that just has been inundated and I've not ever had the guys come out and do anything so now that we've got the proper treatment. He did take some traps and used them over there and, and caught a couple of I moles. caught a couple over there, but this this has been a problem area for me. It was far enough away from the house, I didn't really care, but now I care. <laughs> so here's the problem. We've got nests and runs kind of all through this area for moles. What we've got is a burrow machine. This is not an endorsement but we're gonna try this thing. And basically it's a smoke oil device that goes into the runs. So we're gonna test this sucker today and see what we can do. Unfortunately, we're not gonna know. We if, will. It, I mean, I'll we'll know up. because there won't be any evidence yeah. coming back up if later. If they don't pop back up, it's good. So let's uh, do some probing and testing and see what we got. All right, right. All 
All right, so. So what do I do? Do I just shove this in the hole? Yeah, you gotta. Well, so I use just a regular garden hose. <laughs> <laughs> they melt. I had it in the exhaust. It was all melted. I grabbed it and freaking burned myself. So but this is a sturdy, heavy duty uh, hose, braided hose. And, and it's, uh, it's going to be a lot more effective. All it's right. got the, the metal tip attached to it so you can get into the burrow. What you try to do is get it down in and then pack the dirt around it and seal it up. Ground's a little dry, but... We want to see if there's any smoke coming out anywhere else. So what's going on? So we're seeing the smoke come up. That's pretty cool. So it essentially, from the nest, it's gone through a run, and it's coming over here to this nest. Yeah, that's awesome. The, the cool thing about this new machine is you actually can see if the smoke is coming out. You know if you're losing smoke. All right, so we ran it for eight minutes. Is the hose hot? It's warm down here. <laughs> so this run should be taken care of. Now we're gonna go find another spot. Ah, it's hotter closer to it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the run right here. If we wanna try the run. I'd go mid, that way you get both directions. man this is a lot better than set. you don't get the uh, instant results of a snap trap but the satisfaction is the same yeah the fact that they're dead and not tearing up your yard huh. yeah they okay. they do a lot of destruction and damage wait here we go It's all the way up here. That moves pretty quick. Look, there's a run all the way up here. So it's showing us where the run goes. And that's not an exploratory run, that's a main run. Yeah, yeah, this is absolutely a main run. This is where they go during the winter. Right and you here. know, if you're just pulling up and looking, this one looks like an old run that wouldn't even be active, so that's showing you. Right. And it's open. I wonder if we poked a hole in there. I'm not thinking at all. I would assume that that one was done. Ooh, that's new. Yeah, we've got we've got some fresh right here. evidence here and over here. There's a nest. So if you don't know, on moles, they will kick up a mound of dirt. That's actually over their nest. You can't ever really trap or bait on those because for whatever reason they don't go for it. They need to be in the runs. But these are definitely fresh where they're kicking out, digging out their tunnels. So this is the main family. Those were the cousins or the aunts and uncles. Probably the in-laws. In you don't want them around. Bull. Ah. So basically we found the first one. We're on a second one now that runs here. And then we've got these here I'll bet there's, that are different. I'll bet there's four different runs. So we're in this run right here. And if I follow where I think it goes and where the smoke is going, I'm about 10 feet, maybe about 20 feet here. It wraps around this tree. We had some smoke coming up by the tree. And we poked that run off. And then it comes back over to these new fresh mounds. So let's... We think we see some smoke here. Let's see. Yeah. So we definitely have smoke coming up over here. So that one is connected all the way through here. That is a massive run. It's coming up through here now. Oh, it's there too. That's very cool. So I didn't, I didn't expect to be able to follow where it's going. I just 
that's the great thing about the smoke is we now know we're hitting all these runs. Yeah, then we know what we need to do and what we don't. So we got smoke all the way here. Safety. We're in shorts. We're not dealing with pesticides. We're basically dealing with smoke. <laughs> so we don't have gloves or anything. You could probably wear gloves. You probably should be wearing like heat resistant gloves. For, Trust me. For, yes. for touching the, <laughs> the actual hose itself. Um, but as far as safety on this, this is pretty cool. I mean, I, you don't want to do, they're recommending that you don't go near a structure within 15 feet just in case there's a crack in a foundation or something like that. But, and uh, we're taking care of the moles. This Finally. is exciting. <laughs> Way easier than setting a trap and waiting two days and then moving it. And, and then having a tech come back out and hope he caught one. Yeah, so this is a kind of a one and done deal. Mm. And then I guess your test is to see if any new runs appear in a different spot that maybe you missed. And then you know to come back out and hit that spot. I don't think we're gonna miss anything. I think this is gonna do the job, boys. I'm excited. So every once in a while in the pest control industry, something comes out that gets me really excited. This is that machine right now. I, I'm pretty stoked about it. I think it's gonna be a game changer for uh, moles. I, I don't know. Now, I have to throw my two cents because I know how much this unit cost. And when I got it, I thought it was going to be more than it really is. <laughs> it's, it's essentially a motor on a cart. It's got a little different design on the muffler, which is interesting. But, man, I don't know. I mean, they, they got their money's worth oh, out of absolutely. it, that's for sure. Yep. But it's a good system, so I'm not knocking the system. But I'm thinking I could have made it out of a pressure washer that broke. We're looking around to see where the smoke's coming up. We may want to probe. It looks like mounds or trails. Over here by the chicken coop. What's up, What's up girls? Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Wyatt, what's up, buddy? Hi. Huh? All right, we're looking for some more moles. We got to find a hole that we can try to smoke out. I might have done killed them all. So Ryan has a silky chicken. I didn't know this. Not as poofy as grandma's, but still cool. I love those. Apparently they're not as smart as the other ones, I'm told. I wouldn't know. I'm not a chicken farmer. Well, so apparently Ryan was onto something with the uh, uh, exhaust, because he may have eradicated the ones that are up here. We can't find all, all the ones that are right around the chicken coop. This is where you were. They're done. So they're done. So we took care of the ones down there and on by the trees so this is a 17 acre property and we've had three different major runs of moles and it looks like they're completely gone so you took care of the ones down here yep. with traps traps and then up here with exhaust <laughs> and then over here with this new smoke machine which i'm interested to see if anything comes up over here again but I'm, I'm Look, very hopeful. exhaust coming up clear over there <laughs> no, in the that's background. Not, that's not. <laughs> All right, so if he was able to do this with a side-by-side, -side, which I don't recommend using a garden hose. <laughs> I clogged the hole with uh, paper towels oh, to no. get it just the right size. Something about heat, paper towels, garden it hose. It hurt. Doesn't, doesn't tell me. Anyway, looks like it worked over here, which is good. We're gonna test it against what we bought and it did down here and compare that to traps. How many hours did you spend on the traps? That one, that was like a three day ordeal. And it was like and a I long time. And I reset it a couple of times. So that, I've been fighting those for years. And that took us 20 minutes? Yeah. So pretty cool. We'll, uh, we'll follow up and we'll see how that looks in a few days. So Ryan says, hey, you should come over here and check out this carpenter ant mound. 
something tells me taking us deep into the woods like this is not safe. I don't know if he cares about this tree. Holy crap. Where's the ants? Where's all the ants? Is? Oh yeah, look at that. Snikes. The ground's moving. Yeah, we gotta try the burrow and see if it works. I, I've seen big mounds like this in the mountains, but I've never seen them out west That's, here. So, let's get perspective. It's about four feet wide. And about a foot, foot and a half tall, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's big. That's probably the biggest I've seen. On my property. That's great. <laughs> hey. So it should, goes to show you, if you're a mechanic, you got a bunch of broken cars <laughs> in your yard. If you're a pest control guy, you got everything in your yard. I love being chauffeured. I always drive. Why do I always have to drive? Because you intimidate everybody that has to drive you. <laughs> My butt is so clenched right now. So we, Ryan and I talked about what we thought about this machine. What are your thoughts? I like it a lot. I think it's sweet. I think it'll be a great thing to add to our services that we do. So and we knew what it does before we got it, but were there any surprises? Yeah, how far the smoke travels, how those runs are connected, especially that one that was wrapping around the tree. Yeah, that was crazy. Like, I really thought that it was gonna be two or three separate little, I guess, colonies of them. Families, families. families. Family works better. Yeah. And for it to just be like one main one and then the secondary one that we did as well, like it was just really cool to see how effective it was in getting everywhere. And that's why the smoke I think is super important so we can track it and see where we've treated, where Potentially, we would still need a treat. So, I just thought of a new series. We could do like the pest control myth busting. That could be cool. Because there's all these theories of what works, like peppermint, put oil. peppermint oil or hedge apples or uh, Irish Spring soap. Yeah, soap or there's all sorts of stuff. Maybe we ought to take that on. That would be awesome. Because I guarantee you most of those do not work. No. And we've heard for moles use pepper or do this or that by their their trails. Juicy fruit gum. Have you Juicy heard that fruit one? gum. There's there's all sorts of stuff. But oh, I yeah. know it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. So maybe we'll have to look at that. If you guys want to see it, let us know what you want to see first cuz there's a lot of there's a lot of theories. Yeah. And 100%. Everybody thinks they know some way around it. And you know, there's a lot of theories in the world that never panned out. You know, like trigonometry. That <laughs> we're here to prove it wrong. <laughs> I'm smart. Uh, anyway, I think we're gonna go find some lunch. So we will see you guys next time. You've heard of all of the things. Hey, I have ants in my kitchen, and then you'll get thousands of. People saying you got to do this or that. Use Dawn dish soap or do this. Or grits. Oil, grits. Grits. <laughs> yeah. So we need to do a series of pest control myth busters. And we test some of these things. I like that. Because then we can yeah. show what works and what doesn't. And if something works, if juicy fruit works for moles, we will be the first to tell you it works for moles. Because my kids just did a secret meals at fast food restaurants oh yeah yeah and i watched them do that last night we could do myth busters, myth busters of ants but we can't call it myth busters right well it can't be called in mexico pest busters or pest something. busters, pest busters. But, i like it guys but we could take their suggestions of what they think works yeah. and put it to put it to a test yeah so if y'all have anything just leave a comment let us know what you'd like to see us try and we'll do it Making sure I didn't blow out the uh, exhaust. Hey. Ah, sucker. Sucker blew out on it again. You want to get both ways on the.
Anyway, I'm having issues with the hose blowing out, so I'm gonna have to sit here and hold this for a while. Don't have to go to the ER, but burn myself. Freaking moron. Another day, another dollar at the ER. So we're uh, we're gonna go over here to the machine. It's about. So if you were able to do this, just let me know when you're ready. <laughs> I'm ready. If you were able to do this with your. <laughs> I got kids texting me. My kids, <coughs> not your kids. <coughs> hey, but while we're at it, found out my idiot kid didn't turn off the hose last night. So I just filled the neighborhood's pool <laughs> at my on my dime. Well, that's nice of you. Freaking kids. I'm not even gonna look at it. <laughs> not even gonna look. <laughs> 